Right, so I'm always out analyzing other people's power data and race results. I thought I actually got a win, which is very rare for myself. Uh, I should actually analyze my own data and show you what, what happened on the weekend. So my threshold is not 333. This is like my best ever. It's probably like 320 and my weight is like 60 at the moment. So like 5.3, 5.4 watts per kilo threshold. So nothing crazy, but it's not, it's not too shabby either. Um, if you want to look at all my training, obviously just follow me on Strava. Um, so yeah, race 280 normalized for two hours 40, like decent, but nothing absolutely bonkers. Um, I'll just change this so the watts per kilo are correct. Um, so yeah, like, you know, hard, but nothing crazy. It's probably like 85% intensity factor for the race, which is like decent. Um, no, sorry, probably more like 90 than maybe um, at my current threshold. Um, so you can see some peak powers on the left. You can see like decent 30, decent 15, 30 seconds, but nothing crazy again. And then five minutes is getting a bit more a bit more spicy but anyway we'll get into the course straight away the course is pretty flat it looks hilly here but there was barely it was like 900 meters in 110k so not too long um so you can already probably see what's happening with the heart rate so basically early on the plan was follow every single break um so the first like half an hour you can see my like first half an hour and my normalized was like five watts per kilo um oh actually no it wasn't sorry this bit here was quite hard there was like 270 normalized but it, there was a bit where it was actually quite hard um you can see heart rate was like 192 i was just trying to follow moves but actually uh nothing really happened there was a big break that went up the road and i was a bit panicked about and this was sort of like this period here um where the the pace was decent like 43k an hour um we got stops here because people were trying to kill themselves by going on the other side of the road um onto un oncoming traffic but racing in the uk that is just how it is got risk life and limit seems um but this part here was pretty active actually and the break got pulled back about here. There was like 15 guys. I thought it was gone. I was like, oh, what a donkey. I've missed the move. And sort of just, you know, in my head being like, what, what a waste of time. Why am I here? But luckily, everyone seemed to chase. And there was a couple big names who missed out. Um, so we managed to get it back. And anyway, as soon as it got brought back, this bit here, I knew it was going to kick off. Because you, you just feel like the break got brought back about on this this part of the course here. Uh, which was like a crosswind. So the wind was coming across this direction. So it's a bit of a crosswind here, taily, um, and then a bit of a headwind, head cross. It was more like across that way. So it was more like tail head, sorry, headwind tail here, um, and then tail, wind, tail cross. And then that was like just pure crosswind more or less. Um, so anyway, yeah, the brake got brought back. And then I was like near the front, you can see here, like it's not too hard, only 260 normalized, so pretty chill. Um, but this was the where the big move went. Um, it didn't actually look as hard as it, it felt, which I guess is, is maybe quite often. Um, but you'll see here that like, um, actually it was not there. I always think my max powers come at the break, but I actually didn't. Um, so anyway, it was on this little climb here. And, um, so it was pretty hard to begin with here. It was like, um, sorry, not very good at my own power analysis. Um, can't actually remember what happened. So anyway, it's like... 600 watts for 15 seconds here so that's like 10 watts per kilo so it's decent but nothing crazy but the bit over the top this whole part here was the really grim part when the break went like 400 watts for two minutes it's not like bonkers but it was it was decently hard and you can see here like flattens off the climb and then ramped up again and this bit here i was doing a fair few watts to get back on like 430 for 35 seconds which was like at this point quite hard i think i i like shelter myself quite well because my normalized was a lot less than some other people um we'll get into the other people i was racing in a bit because some of them are actually quite good like racing in spain full time etc um and anyway so then got in the break which was pretty mint there were like six of us there was two guys up the road already one guy was sort of caught um and then me uh this lad charlie beat you like racing in spain who was very good got second in a copper spaniel race which is like very good and then this little junior kid who also seems very good at riding a bike so i was in the break and i was like fair enough um should be should be chill and it wasn't too hard to be honest 290 normalized 47 minutes again like not nothing like ridiculous like for me that's like 4.9 watts per kilo which is you know quite a lot but it wasn't too hard you can see a heart rate here 175 like that's that's pretty standard um and nothing really happened to be honest um there was basically like the, it was two laps like these first two laps we literally just soft out around like it was it was very easy um then on this climb I thought there was going to be more acceleration. Um, the guy racing Spain tried putting a little acceleration here, um, but like nothing crazy. Like it was like just, you know, up to 500 watts and then just sort of road tempo over it. And I was like, okay, sweet. Um, this is probably good for me. Then the next bit was just like, again, not too hard. 268 watts. 
At this point, we got told we had a gap of like a minute 40. So it's like, yeah, there's no real need to pr uh, push on at all. Um, so we basically just soft tapping, really. And then um, there was like a little attack up this climb by um, the lad Chai. He is so like 600 watts for 10 seconds. Like it was, it was quite a soft attack, really. There wasn't much going. And I just decided, you know what? Like I have no sprint. Like and my best number since my crash. Like I have hit 1100 watts in the past, but recently it's like 960. I was like, okay, it's not bad when you're tiny, but come on, 960, you're not going to win a sprint, um, especially when that's your fresh power. So I just whacked in a little dig here, like 600 watts, and then I just looked around, and they were all just, like, messing around, looking at each other, and I was like, sweet, we'll just whack it. Um, so that's what I did. So you can see, like, the last four minutes of the race-ish was at, like, 345 watts, so 5.7 watts per kilo, which is not, like, terrible. Um, but yeah, I was just trying to get really, really arrow. It was slight downhill, um, but was sort of a cross headwind, average, like, 45k an hour, um at 330 watts so it's getting properly aero and then just won it like it sort of suited me quite well like i, I know these roads really well because i um live in bristol and train on these roads a lot so i know them really well and yeah just just whacked it and then that was basically it like came around the corner um and it was like a slight uphill drag it doesn't say it's uphill but it definitely is um and did like 360 watts for the first, last 45 seconds i'll whack the um and then there's a little nice old picture of me here it looks a lot closer than it was. It was actually a decent gap. It was like, you know, when you look around, you're like, well, they just can't catch me unless they're doing like, you know, 1600 watts. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with that, to be honest. Like, I don't really win many races because I don't really have that much sprint and I often race like a donkey. Um, but yeah, I was pretty happy to take a big win. Um, so yeah, the people involved, like Charlie Beaker, I said, race in Spain. This guy, Gruff Lewis, apparently he's quite a good junior. Matt Gilmore, watch the channel. He's a, he's actually ridiculously quick as well. There was like a lot of big names there. Because like, only a two, three, four. So in the UK, it's like, in the third top road race you can do it's like nat is is like obviously the top and then nat b is is like for anyone else who's not in the uk is sort of like i guess the equivalent of like a p12 and then this is the one below that so you still get decent people but it's, they're never that hard um and you can see like the course didn't suit me that much it wasn't that hilly or anything um but yeah i was really happy to take a win um should have a video about the tour uh later on today um and yeah so anyway cheers for watching hope to enjoy uh always welcome to follow on strava if you want to see more of my training and racing and uh i'll see you in a beat